Am I the asshole I told my daughter she can live with me with this condition? I, 34 male, had a child 10 years ago, Nova 10. I was a terrible person back then. I didn't stay in her life and I deeply regret it. A few months ago I contacted her mom to see if I can see my child. She happily agreed to co-parent with me and seemed relieved which was understandable considering she had four other kids, all younger than Nova. Nova was a bit distant at first but now we are doing better. She is generally a very good kid but something I realized about her is that no punishment seems to work on her and also she can be very disrespectful at times. If I tell her to do something as a punishment she won't do it or if I ground her she will just leave without my permission. I asked her mom how she punishes her and she said she has never punished her before. What I've heard from Nova is that it seems like she would just cuss her out and yell at her which I don't think are good punishments for a kid. Two nights ago Nova asked me if she can live with me from now on. I told her I'd love it but she can live with me with one condition, she has to follow my rules and be respectful. She didn't say anything after that. After she went back to her mom's home my mom, who was there when Nova asked me this, told me I was an awe because, if a kid is asking her deadbeat dad to take her in, there must be something very wrong so you don't make conditions for her you just say yes and take her in, was I really wrong to have this condition? I can't be a parent if she doesn't listen to me but now both my mom and daughter refuse to talk to me. Her mom will likely have no problem with this, she seems too busy with her other kids and I think she would like being the weekends, fun parent so that's not really a problem. Edit. I took Nova out for an ice cream and asked her why she wants to live with me. She said, I don't want to live with you anymore. You are just gonna send me back anyway. I apologized to her and told her that I would never send her back and I would be very happy if she lived with me. I just want to know the reason. After talking for a while she said, I just want to sleep. Turns out after she started coming to my home her mom gave her bedroom to her younger sisters. One of them is a baby, and they cry all night and keep her awake. I told her I will talk to her mom and she will stay with me from now on and that we are gonna have some rules and I expect her to follow them but even if she doesn't, I will still love her and I won't leave her again. She said she is gonna try but she won't promise because apparently annoying me is very fun. I called her mom and as I expected she has no problem with this and is willing to let her live with me. Oh gosh. You are the asshole. I think you're trying to do what you think is best, but I agree with your mom. Your 10-year-old daughter living with you shouldn't be conditional. Dot. If it works for everyone, you say yes, then work on communication and discipline. You're not the only one who has to learn, she does too. If she had no discipline whatsoever, she'll be stepping into a whole different world and it might be difficult to adjust. She's just a kid who hasn't had the best or fairest life by the sounds of thing. You possibly hurt her and let her down thinking that's all you care about and just don't want trouble. Am I the asshole for buying my granddaughter more expensive gifts than my grandson? I have many grandchildren but this is about the oldest ones, Jake, 18, and Maya, 18. They are cousins not siblings. 18th birthdays are very important in our family so for Jake's 18th birthday I told him I will buy him whatever he wants, as long as it's reasonable of course. He told me he needs a new phone so I bought one for him which costed me around $1000. I encouraged him to choose other gifts as well but he said it's enough. For Maya's 18th birthday I did the same thing and told her to choose whatever she wants. She gave me a list of the things that she wanted and it costed me about $7,000. I was a bit unsure whether I should buy them or not but decided that it would be unfair if I don't buy it because Jake had the same offer and he chose not to get anything else. Jake's father, my son, was very angry at Maya's birthday. He said I'm showing favoritism. I tried to explain to him that I'm not because Jake had the same offer. His argument was that I raised Maya, her parents worked a lot and I was basically her babysitter. While I didn't have as much contact with Jake, his mom was a Psalm. So naturally Maya would be closer to me and it would be easier for her to ask me for things. You are the asshole. While you gave them a choice, which is nice, you should have decided that each one of them would get an equal value of gifts. If you spent $1,000 on one, that should have been the cap for the other. No one told you had to buy all the gifts on Maya's list. You made that choice. You are the asshole for not capping the offer. I mean, really, who asks for $7,000 worth of birthday items and actually gets them? You are the asshole. You basically punished your grandson for being more polite than your granddaughter. A. I hesitate to call you an asshole but your son is right that the circumstances make Maya a lot more comfortable asking you for things and that Jake wouldn't feel that comfortable. 
A more fair way to handle it would be to give Jake the difference in cash so that he didn't have to ask for an amount he'd likely feel was too much. Am I the asshole for telling my husband that his mom is pregnant? I recently found out that my husband's mom is pregnant. She didn't tell me directly, probably wouldn't have wanted me to know as we don't get along at all, but we were on an outing for a mutual family member's birthday, and I heard her whinging to an usher that they needed to bend the rules and let her back in her seat because she is pregnant and that's why she got up. I immediately felt sick to my stomach. My husband and I do not keep secrets, and I felt like I had to tell him, but it also felt wrong. The thing is if I didn't tell him and he ever found out I knew, he would feel so betrayed. I ended up pulling her aside at the end of the night and letting her know that I knew, and that I felt I had to tell him. She told me she wasn't ready and then told me she had no plans of telling him, maybe until the baby was born, WTF. I told her I was going to have to tell him and she began to cry. She said she knew he would take it badly and feel he was being replaced since she hasn't talked to him in a while and she said she is having a lot of weird feelings about not wanting him near the baby, but she thinks it is hormonal and will go away. She said she is even going to therapy to get into a place she can talk to him again, and please don't tell him, they used to be close but she hates me with a passion and it has ruined their relationship. I said I was so sorry, but I just don't keep secrets from my husband. She called me a fucking stupid bitch and ran off crying. I told my husband and he did not take it well at all. He called her and there was a massive fight, and now Mill is telling everyone I'm evil and I betrayed her. The family is pretty split about if he had the right to know or not. Not the asshole. Potential plot twist. She's not pregnant at all and lied to the usher so she could break the rules. Esh. Mom and husband are in a dynamic that I'm not even going to touch but there are problems and obviously he stuck you in there too somehow which is wrong. That being said, you are textbook meddling. Let them hash our their own shit. How would he possibly ever know you heard something? Who knows if she was even telling the truth? What do you gain or lose by getting involved I? This ridiculous mess. Your whole family sounds like a drama magnet to be honest. ETA. People don't seem to understand how it's meddling to run up to Mill and start interrogating her about the pregnancy. Like. Um? Why is that your business? Am I the asshole for refusing to talk to my sibling? My sister, I'll call her T here, has always been more successful than me, especially academically. I have certain learning difficulties, but I am in no way dumb. I just need more instructions for me to be able to complete certain tasks. T always seemed to believe that she is better than me because of this, to the extent that she would say it to my face and honestly, I couldn't really argue with her because our parents took her side. A few years ago, T failed to get into Oxford her dream university but still ended up at a very good university. At the time I was working my butt off with schoolwork because I also wanted to get into a very good university and make my family, including her, proud of me. I managed to graduate high school in the top of my class. I applied to multiple universities, one of them being Cambridge. I didn't think I would be able to get in, even with my good grades in high school and extra activities, but it was my dream university. To my surprise, I managed to get into four of the five universities I applied for, Cambridge being one of the four. I was very happy about it, but T was not. She came into my room and started crying and shouting at me because I got into a university that was more prestigious than hers. She told me that if I was a good sibling, I wouldn't mind going to a less known university, and started saying stuff like, how could you do something like this to me? I am the smart child. You hate me don't you? I bet you'll fail and drop out with that pathetic IQ of yours. I barely spoke to her after that, and when I moved out I blocked her on every social media I had. My parents are very mad at me, saying that I should at least talk to her and let her apologize, and tell me that she acted that way because she was just very angry in that moment and didn't mean it. They say I'm being very immature, but that was the last straw for me and I don't want to talk with her even though it's almost been a year since we had the fight. Edit. For people upset that I said, graduate high school, I am an international student. Where I am from we refer to finishing high school as graduating high school, because we consider it a pretty big deal. Not the asshole, you have the right to go to whatever uni you want. And while it's sad for her she didn't get into Oxford, you're allowed to celebrate your placement. Hope this all works out for you. NTA, she sounds like a spoiled broutwurst, you have nothing to apologize for. If your family starts demanding one from you just say, I am sorry your parenting skills. Congratulations on your admittance into Cambridge. Not the asshole.
Congratulations and I'm proud of you. There's not a single reason for you to apologize. Move on and move of this environment cuz seems like you have an entitled sister and enabled parents. I truly wish you great success both academy and in your life. Hugs.